Yeah, wait, kiss his neck. Go. Go grab him. Go grab him. Don't let him walk away. Hey, everyone. I'm Kelsey. I'm single. So I thought it would be funny if I tried the millionaire gold digger challenge. <laughs> it's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one gold digger and their goal is to make one million simoleons all by marrying and divorcing different partners. There's other rules to this challenge. I kind of got inspired by a couple different challenges in The Sims and added some rules of my own. So if you're interested in those rules, that of course will be in the description below. Last time we married Mr. Goth, we... Honestly, it's been a minute. I don't exactly remember all the things that I did last time. I'm assuming we have not done the dinner party yet. I remember our daughter Chanel aged up and we were aging up some other kids. We haven't had our kid with Gotha Senior yet. And some of you were saying that we wouldn't be able to because there are already too many Sims in the household. Now I do have cheats on. So I think that my household is technically like a little bit bigger like there's more room in the household than eight sims but it could be true in any case it's technically i believe the eldest goth daughter's birthday so she might want to move out of the house anyway we might just uh, be able to get her out of the house have the baby have the dinner party and then move on to our next target which will be of course the famous thorn who we've kind of been canoodling, not canoodling, but we got to know him and we kind of name drop him all the time. He's like one of our good friends, but he's about to be a little Aww. more of the friends. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you're enjoying this challenge, make sure to let me know in the comments below, leave a like. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. So you're notified every time a new video goes up. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Sunday and occasional vlogs on Monday. I also have a, uh, second channel that I put up my past Twitch streams. So we are currently doing a brand new challenge there that's called the Rags to Riches Challenge, where I have a princessy type popper who will soon become her princessy self. It's a lot of fun. So if you're interested in that, that is on the more Kelsey and PGK channel. They're a lot longer. They're kind of like what I do for this, but uncut. So without any of the cut down of the butts and ums and the other things that I do that you don't see. So if you're interested in that, check that out. If not, let's get into that video. Kelsey's been talking a little too long. All right, back to the goth residence. It's been good to Kaylee, but it's time to move on. We got our, our girl Kaylee here. Uh, this is her little daughter, Chanel, who just aged up. We love Chanel. She's perfect. The perfect accessory. Then, of course, it is also, I believe, uh, Cassandra Goth's birthday. She is a teen. She's aging up to young adult. And as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Sims in the household. So, yeah, it might be time. And then we have Deacon. Deacon? Deacon Goth, who is the child of Bella Goth and her lover, who is not Mortimer Goth. And then we got Cash and Peach May, who is the child of our first husband, Akira. So we got Akira, and then we have Chanel, who's the daughter of Diego Lobo. And then of course we have Alexander and Cassandra. So our, our little family tree is getting a little different, uh, which I love. <laughs> I can't wait for it to be just astronomically weird with all of her different kiddos. But honestly, I cannot wait until we move out to a guy that does not have a family because this is just chaotic. I normally don't control Sims that aren't my own, but it is Cassandra's birthday. So let's have her have like at least a mediocre birthday party. I think we got a cake. Did we get a cake? Is there a cake involved? Did I already do this? There is no cake. There's a lot of like rando food though. Wait, why is everyone crying? Me miss hanging out with our friends. Wow, what, very dramatic. But why don't you love on your daughter? In the first couple episodes, I'll admit, Haley has been kind of like MIA with her kids. She's just like more focused on making bank. But I think as they're getting older, Chanel, like specifically when they're not babies, I have a feeling that she's actually gonna be a very like protective and loving mother. I think that in the end, my goal for her is to kind Kind of become a like Game of Thrones inspired type woman who would do anything for her children and would, you know, just essentially betray anyone else that gets in her way. Cassandra, why don't you for your birthday? Oh my gosh, I forgot Thorn Bailey is here. It's just such a striking image, our future husbando. Uh, but let's, you know, let's tell some jokes with our mom. Do like a joke about monkeys. I just want her to have like a decent birthday because I feel kind of bad. I want her to feel better. Oh, look at them all. They're having a nice little party up here. It seems like there's, you know, 
Kaylee's party downstairs. <laughs> and then there's the party for Cassandra like upstairs. Where did the cake go? I thought that we just had someone in here making a cake. Oh, there it is. Okay, great. Okay, 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 okay. So why don't you add some birthday candles, Cassandra? Hopefully nobody is going to eat that cake before you get down there. And then we'll call everybody to eat your birthday cake. Is it also Alexander's birthday? Oh my gosh, it's Alexander, Cassandra, and it was Chanel's birthday. I forgot it was all three of theirs. Okay, so let's blow out the candles. Happy birthday. You're gonna move out today. She's probably really ready to go. Oh, I forgot Diego Lobo's over, our ex-husband. The, the drama continues. Okay, she is a geek. Oh, my sweet angel. I think that's perfect for her. Okay, and then uh, Alexander, why don't you go celebrate your birthday with some candles? Kaylee, meanwhile, had a glass of wine. I love that for her. And it's just vibing. Oh my God, what happened? That was broken for a hot second. Oh my gosh, I hate that the nanny is just cleaning up. I mean, normally I would love that. I hope she puts some stuff in here so that I get money. Please put some stuff in the trash. No, you're throwing away my money. Anyway, Alexander, did you go downstairs? Oh my gosh, please do this before anyone eats your cake. He's super bored. It's your own birthday, my dude. No, Mortimer, you jerk. Also, wh why are you so dirty? Oh my gosh. All right, let's all like called a meal? I don't know. I really wanted Alexander to have a cake. Are they making another cake? Can, can we ask them to make a cake, please? Can you make a cake? I wish I could ask you to make cake. Stop making French toast. It's a birthday. There's three Sims celebrating their birthday today. I need this little man to have a good birthday. It would be so tragic. Tragic. Nobody touch these plates. Stop touching the plates, nanny. We'll have Cassandra make her little brother a cake. She's gonna make him a chocolate cake, which is very sweet. And hopefully, oh, it looks like she, she realized you know, dad took a slice of her brother's cake before her brother had been able to age up. So she's gonna do it for her. Meanwhile, Kaylee's just asleep. Chanel is just vibing out. <laughs> just crushing it, learning how to do things, being an adorable little princess as usual. Cassandra, did you not, what is happening? Stop, why do my Sims never do anything that I want them to do? There we go. It's cause you were there. The person we hired to make a cake only made one cake for all the children. Oh, Chanel's really angry now because she's, oh, she wants to ask Kaylee for food. She's throwing a little fit. I feel like Thorn, wouldn't you love to adopt me? Like go go talk to Thorn. Maybe her mom told her like, hey, if I fall asleep, go talk to Thorn, okay? Act like he's your dad. <laughs> We just need one more baby and a dinner party and we're done. Okay, birthday party. I mean, birthday party does not count as dinner party, unfortunately. All right, great. Okay, fabulous. Can you just put that down? Amazing. All right, it's your turn. Okay, we're gonna grab this cake. Boop. Put it in the center there. Okay, now it's your turn to add birthday candles. Okay, now it's Alexander's turn. I know that technically the birthday is over, but Alexander, this is your birthday time. Blow out your candles, buddy. <laughs> Happy birthday. Yeah. I accidentally broke your family apart. I'm sorry. Granted, your mom did that first. Okay, so it's not entirely my fault. Bella's here to sing her son happy birthday. He is going to be paranoid and he is going to be an outdoor enthusiast. A paranoid, book-loving outdoor enthusiast. That seems wrong. You know, if he's a book lover, I'm just gonna have him be a writer. I just feel like, I feel, oh my, okay. Wow. All right, Alexander Goth. What a surprise. Let's save and manage worlds and we're gonna kick out the adult daughter as much as we love her. Honestly, I don't think we're really kicking her out so much as she's escaping to a better life. This poor girl, I'm sure she's like, I would really much rather be in my own life. We'll give her, no, we're not giving her any money. She can start on her own. I'm sure her parents will give her money. It's, it's the, the millionaire gold digger child. We can't just be giving away money, okay? Don't be ridiculous. Okay, now it's time to woohoo for our lives. Let's woohoo, baby. We gotta make some babies today. We gotta pop them out, make sure that he owes us money. Hello, would you like to have a baby with me, Mortimer God? They're both into it. Oh, she wants to go for a jog. You can go for a jog after. Okay, break out the candles. Baby making time. There we have it. Great, 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 great. Take a break so you can see Tess. Go, Kaylee, go. Go, Kaylee, go. Be pregnant, be pregnant, be pregnant. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Eating for two. Well worth it. Well worth it. Yes, congratulations, Kaylee and Mortimer. You are having a baby. She's gonna tell Mortimer like, hey, I'm pregnant. He's like, wow. He looks 
very tired and exhausted. Does not want to deal with it. They're both like, I'm really hungry. There's plenty of food downstairs, so there's literally no excuse. Why don't you go to bed since you were passing out? I want Cash and Chanel to play together. She was going to have a book read to her, but then Nanny took too long, so now they're both playing together. <gasps> Look how cute! I love this. I love the kids so much. This is probably the most I've like fallen in love with little toddlers since the 100 baby challenge. Probably because there's only two of them. It's cute to see them interact together and play. They're a little playing pretend. So sweet. Kaylee's having a really good sleep. Plan a social event. Great, we're gonna do a dinner party. Husband, Mortimer. All right, dinner party, here we go. So we are gonna have a host who's Mortimer and Kaylee, and then the guests will be Thorn Bailey. It's gonna be a very intimate affair. Maybe Jay Huntington since he's been hanging around the house. Liliana looks pretty. Miko, we're still kind of mad at. Yeah, that's enough. And then the, the, we will hire a caterer. Fabulous. And it's going to be at the goth residence. Yay. I love that there's already like food in here too. Oh, Chanel is playing with Alexander. Oh, that's so cute. It's like her big brother. Oh, so cute. All right, so everybody's having dinner over here. We're all calling into the meal. Excellent. I think we we nailed it. I think we got gold. That was the goal. Oh, I feel like I'm really phoning it in right now during the gods because I'm so overwhelmed by how many people there are to keep track of. Cash is asleep. Chanel's going to sleep. How's Mortimer doing? Mortimer like just doesn't even care about her. Half the time he's not even in the same room as her. So neglectful. Uh, you know who wouldn't treat me like that? Thorn Bailey, where are you, Thorn Bailey? Okay, Thorn Bailey is also forever MIA, but it's fine. All right, Kaylee, go get your mans. Uh, Ask about food. Yes, keep bonding with him. Brag about possessions. I feel like he would really appreciate her like talking about all the possessions that she has. Flatter him. Oh, she's feeling very flirty. He has the greedy personality type that's perfect. So does she. Oh, she's feeling super flirty. I mean, is her husband around? She could do like just a cute little flirt, see what happens. He liked it. He liked it. Kiss his hands. Level up in charisma skill. She wants to be more charismatic. I don't blame her. <gasps> She kissed his hands. See, even if her husband walked by, I feel like he wouldn't necessarily think that could be flirty. Like that could be, you know, just her being European. <laughs> okay, there's a meal going on. Everyone feel ready to go. Stop picking. Oh, oh, she's doing it. Finally, she's giving me money back. <gasps> Dinner party was a level gold. Nice. And we, I think we reached another level of the charisma seal. We're level eight. No, we didn't. Okay, someone else did. Wow. The compliment is appearance. Oh my gosh, where is Mortimer? Mortimer's downstairs about to go read his son to bed though. So he is gonna walk by them. Oh my gosh, maybe stop, maybe stop. I feel like she would see him coming up with the stairs and stop flirting with him. Friendly, ask about his love life. Be like, what's going on with your love life? That doesn't seem like too weird. Okay, he seems like he wants to leave. So I guess she'll have to talk to him later. But you know, we, we kind of started something there. She's gonna ask Thorn Bailey out on a date actually. She's, she's gonna be, we've gotten to the point where we just fully ask non-husbands out on dates. Just so brazen. Oh my God. He said yes. Okay, where are they gonna go? Ooh, what if they went on a date to Sulani? Like, what if he flew her to the beach? That would be a power move. A very romantic power move. I think they're gonna do that. Flying to the beach for their first date, luxury. <laughs> Could you imagine flying somewhere on for a date? Like that, wow. Thorn and her are here, compliment him. Let's like, Friendly, brightness day. Ooh, Ava. No, we don't want to be uh, an entertainment business, but thank you. Okay, she's she's making some jokes. She's gonna, I cannot believe she's here. Like, I wish we could ask her to leave. We are not friends with you. Complain about spouse to thorn. That feels good. Oh, and they're gonna have a romantic hug. Okay. And she's gonna kiss his hands. Stop being in the middle of this. 
Yes, you yeah. weird. Oh, Miko. She's just like fangirling and we're like, oh my gosh. Sweet talk him. Oh wow, she faded because we blew him a kiss. Apparently our fame is going up by being like with him and interacting with him, which is amazing for us. Joke about silly baby names. Oh, there's a first kiss. Okay, we need to like kiss our date. So that's part of it. We've been socializing with him. Yes, we just need keep romance going, my girl. Boom, kiss your date. Why is Miko like third partying this situation? She's just so weird. It's it's so creepy. Oh, wait, kiss his neck, go. Go grab him, go grab him. Don't let him walk away. This is the most I've ever been with like a celebrity. It's so cute that she's able to seduce the celebrity. I'm very proud of her. She's like, we need to get away. Gotta keep sweet talking him. Yeah, they're gonna, she's gonna get way more famous just from being around him, which I love. I feel like everyone around is talking about them, like how cool they are. <laughs> is that Thorn Bailey dating a girl? Who's this mysterious woman? Her charisma level's nine, yes! Okay, we're crushing this. Her charisma level is level nine. We are doing it up, baby. Keep sweet talking him, he loves it. We are well on our way with him. Okay, stop being Mr. Popular, we get it. All of these people are your fans. Okay, we wanna like be alone. Can we like sit together? I want them to kind of like go be alone in privacy, you know? Like, ugh, the paparazzi is just all over us. We just need to like sit and chat together alone on our date. Will you leave me go? Oh my gosh, they're like stalking him. Oh wait, I thought you could sweet talk on the chair. I just want her to chat with him like while they're sitting here. Brighten his day. Look at them, they're creeping. They're like acting like they're not doing anything, but they really just are watching them. This is so weird. Are you a fan too? Oh my gosh, stop talking with your fans and come and sit and talk with me. Stop getting people hyped. Oh, you invited them all in here, Thorn. It's like we can never do anything on our own with Thorn. We will always be just like chilling with him in his celebrity mode. Ask to be boyfriend, yes. Will you be my boyfriend, Thorn? Yes, Thorn is our boyfriend. The scandal continues. Oh my gosh, and so many witnesses. There's just so many witnesses. Oh my gosh. Passionate kiss him in front of everyone. She doesn't care anymore. She has like literally no shame at this point. She's just openly cheating on Mortimer Goth. She wants to be friendly with Bella though. That's so cute. It's kind of weird, but it's very cute. Be enticing, romantic compliment. Hopefully these people will just get out. Caress his cheek. Yes, all the stuff that gives us fame, we will do. This is very, uh, profess undying love. She, Kaylee says, God, you're just perfect. I do feel like Kaylee is very, interested in oh in thorn thorn's like okay we're going a little fast oh but and then they just kissed so i guess he's just very weirdly picky i don't know thorn bailey has a child <gasps> he has a spouse oh my gosh we're gonna have to break him up with his spouse we're going to have to other sims ask him to break up with octavia bailey i did not realize that he was married but i feel like you're gonna have to break up with him you're right i can do so much better than her i'm gonna break up with octavia tonight yes Thank goodness. I just checked MC Command Center. They have a, a baby too. Uh, I don't want to deal with it. You know what? Maybe we'll have Octavia move out because I can't I can't do like taking care of other people's kids again, you know? I feel like Kaylee just cares about her own children and won't really care about anybody else's. They're all talking about Thorn Bailey. They're like, that's the Thorn Bailey. They're like, yes. Thorn Bailey. Um, Ask for a again. selfie? I, I feel like it was like, maybe we could do take your picture with. That's the thing. Okay, take a picture with. Oh, update your social media status. Be like, having a great day on the beach. And then she's gonna take a picture with Thorn. And then she's gonna sell it to the tabloids. Which would be bad if her husband ever paid attention to that kind of stuff. But I don't think he does. I don't think he pays attention to the tabloids or anything. So I feel like he's not gonna find out about this till it's too late, till she's all gone, baby. All right, let's see if they wanna buy these. Okay, they're kind of better, I guess. 
I thought they'd sell like even more because oh, thorns in them, the but okay. How is our public image not going up at all? I don't understand. It is so hard to get famous in this game sometimes. It do be hard like that. Why don't you wait in a bit and use the use the ocean as a bathroom because, oh my gosh, she's so pregnant. Cause it seems like there's no bathroom on this lot. Our date is complete. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, wait here. Yes, just wait all the way in and then maybe like, yeah, use, can you use the toilet? Back float. She's too uncomfortable. Why can't we just use the toilet? Well, okay, apparently she's decided that she wants to go home. So we're gonna go home before she has a bladder failure on her date with her boyfriend. Hopefully he breaks up with his wife and we can uh, get these things going. So far, so good. We've got a new boyfriend who's famous. I just wish we were at least level two of fame. It'd be really nice, you know? Just wanna become famous for being pretty and marrying people. No, I don't want to come over. Oh my God. She literally just had a bathroom accident in a bathroom. Oh my gosh. Kaylee invited Thorn over. I did not do that. Well, let's see. We do want to kiss someone and snuggle cash. Oh, I love that. We did want to take care of uh, Chanel, but apparently Chanel passed out. So she doesn't want to be taken care of. Cash needs a bath. So he's going to ask for a bath from Nanny and Kaylee. Okay, we need to ask about his wife. He still has a spouse. Like, are you not going to break up with your wife? Accuse of not caring. Oh no, we don't want to mess with him right now. Oh, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. <gasps> Did he see? Apparently not. He was just completely ignorant to <laughs> Kaylee's flirtations with Thorn on their front porch. He walked through them. I cannot believe that he hasn't like broken up with his wife. Maybe we can ask if we can move in. Okay, ask to join household and let's see what he says. We're like, can we move in with you? Our husband's at work. Like he's literally at home. <gasps> They are gonna move in together. Oh my gosh. She's not even, she's not even broken up with Mortimer, but he's just so MIA and so not available emotionally, like not paying attention to her at all, that she's taking the kids and she's moving in and she's breaking up dis marriage. Also, Orange Bailey Moon's like an adult, so it's fine. Okay, here we go. And we're gonna move over all 101 and four. 370, she's taking the money and going. We had another 50,000 simoleons from Thorn. So she's taking the money and leaving them high and dry and then going to divorce him. It's brutal, but she's had enough. I feel like that was the final straw when like when Mortimer just walked through her openly flirting with her new boyfriend. She was like, um, okay, you know what? You don't even notice I'm here, I'm moving out. And then we're going to have Thorn, I need you to just divorce your wife like right now. I know it's kind of skeezy to like, you know, control him and make him divorce, but I need you to divorce your wife and have her move out because we are moving in. She's super mad. Oh my gosh, Octavia's very upset, but it's fine. He's single, he did it. We're not gonna do what we did last time. We are gonna manage the world and we're gonna move out his wife and son. She, she, I don't think she would stay. She's like, oh my God, you arrived with your new girlfriend who is married and oh my gosh, just the drama. We're divorcing the Bailey Moon family. Octavia Moon and Thorne Bailey are the power couple of the century. Octavia is the lyrical genius behind all of Thorne's greatest hits. Due to Thorne's most recent mishap on social media, his public image has started to falter. His fans are starting to realize that Octavia is the real talent. Orange is their good nature son, but due to his entire life of wanting for nothing, he's also a bit naive. So unfortunately we are creating a new household and she is taking the kid. She's like a powerhouse woman. She's like, ah, uh, taking the kid, I'm going. That leaves our girl with Thorn. We had no idea he was married. I did not know. I always assumed he was a single guy. I had no idea he'd always been married. Maybe I did. Did I figure that out at some point? I don't know. Anyway, we're here. We are in our new home. This feels right. This feels good. Ooh, look at this. Fancy, modern. This looks very bachelor pad-esque. This is the master suite, I'm assuming, with like a whole walk-in closet vibe. And then we've got an office or like music production. And then we've got two more bedrooms. So that means like the kids, Cash and Chanel, can have their own bedrooms. Cute. Um, obviously, I need to remove these beds though, since they don't fit into those rooms. And we'll have to give them 
them little little toddler beds. But I think that's, you know, I think that's okay. Then. Now that we have a full big home, let's hire our butler. I'm so excited. Okay, hire a service. Okay, I will buy my first butler in a in a challenge ever. Love that for us. How are you doing, Chanel? Are you enjoying your new home? Yes, there's our butler. Let's plan our outfits. She's like, gotta get a new outfit for her new bae, for uh, Thorn Bailey. And I feel like this is gonna be like her celebrity look. Like this is her look that she's like a fancy celebrity girl. So, so far she's got, this is the Lobo look. This is her goth look. So now we have to do like a celebrity look. So I'm going to actually look at the pack that is the get famous pack and see if there's like kind of a celebrity dress that looks good on her. That would make sense. I mean, there is like something like these, but okay. I think that, you know, Kaylee is looking pretty good in this one. Cash, I think, and Chanel still look very cute. So I don't think I'm going to give them makeovers at the moment. Maybe later. <laughs> Butler, can you please cook a family meal? Oh, Cash is hungry. Well, Cash would also like the meal. So let's kind of brighten Cash's day. Be a sweet mama. Talk about day. Hug lovingly, you know. Oh, she wants to produce a new track. What if she makes music? Like, a, oh my God, that would be so funny if she starts making music because she's married to like a guy that makes music, but it's all bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have to do that. Thorne is just vibing out here, loving his new home. He's like a little sad because of the divorce, but like not that bad. He's just, he loves his celebrity home. Okay, can we invite over our like husband yet? Okay, there it is, Mortimer Goth. All right, finally Mortimer is back from work. She's inviting him over here and he's like, where, where are you? Like maybe he came home and was like, I, I feel like, listen, Okay, he wants to give, no, I don't want you to give my number to anyone else, my ex-husband. I feel like he went home and did not call her. Like he went home and did not call her up and go, where are you? Where are the kids? Didn't even care. Like, what is that Mortimer? What is that? I'm so shocked. Is he coming? Is he rolling up? There he is, he's running up. All right, she's gonna go divorce Mortimer. Leave the kids inside. Here she goes. Mortimer just standing in front of this house like, what's going on? Oh my gosh, we're doing it right in front of, <gasps> we're doing it right in front of Judith Ward. She's like, I'm divorcing you. And he's like, come on. And she's like, yes, I don't want you anymore. Goodbye, Mortimer. I want you to leave, goodbye. <laughs> I'm going to go sleep with my boyfriend in uh, in my new bedroom. Okay, Mortimer, you gotta go, man. I think I think uh, Thorne's gonna be the one to be like, you gotta go, Mortimer. And he's like, okay, I enjoyed spending time with you. See you later. It's like, did you enjoy spending time with us? Mortimer, you're so clueless. Oh my gosh, he's so clueless, but it's all good. We are fully enamored. We're living prestigiously. We had a fun party. We've ate well. We don't even care that we're divorced. We have no cares in the world. It's like 8 p.m. They're all going to bed because they're exhausted early. It's almost Cash's birthday. Oh my gosh, it's almost Cash's birthday. Oh, he's crying. Why don't you go check on him? Oh, Kaylee's a little sad too. I wonder if, oh, Cash is sad because of the divorce. He hates the divorces. I'm so, I feel so bad. I did not realize with having all the kids that they would like be so upset about the divorces all the time. So I, I feel very bad about the children and how like this is gonna impact them. I really didn't think about this at the challenge and it's so sad. You know, it is what it is. We're gonna comfort him. We're gonna keep brightening his day. We're gonna teach him things. Whoa, look at their view though. Wow, I mean, yeah, like who wouldn't want to live here? Dang, okay. Oh, they're having a little fight. Oh, come on. Don't get so mad with your son. And then Reed Clash to sleep. They're having a little, little bonding moment. She's teaching him some stuff, telling him a little story, talking about your day. Oh, it looks like he's not really enjoying it. He's asking about eagles. Oh, she's kind of crying over the heartbreak. It's been a little hard on her too, but you know, she's gonna tuck him in maybe use the use the toilet she's gonna read to him he likes his books okay she really needs to go to the bathroom all right it's pretty desperate he's a he's asleep nope and as usual she pees herself all right well 
go take a shower. I cannot believe she's constantly, constantly having these issues. Where's the butler when you need him? Oh my gosh, should we do rebinds? Oh my gosh, she's gonna try to produce a track. She's like, oh, I see that you can produce tracks. Well, I mean, my boyfriend slash future fiance is like a musician. So like, I'm gonna be a musician too. <laughs> Look at her. She's trying, bless her. She's trying. She's very excited about this new hobby of hers. Thorn, oh, he's sad. What is he doing? He's gonna go pose for the paparazzi. He's really sad, but he's still like, I gotta, I gotta put on a brave face for my fans. <laughs> oh, pfft, this guy doesn't even care. Sign some autographs. <gasps> Kaylee's gone into labor. Oh my gosh, she's woken up and she's gone into labor. Oh my gosh, and it looks like she, her water broke over here. All right, it's time, it's time. Okay, update your social media status. Be like, in labor, oh my gosh, baby's coming. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, she's got more fame, awesome. Okay, let's have a baby at the hospital. We are gonna join her and so is Thorn Bailey. Hopefully Thorn will stay around for the baby coming. Half of the time when I bring someone, they just don't stick around. But here they are, the famous little couple. Complain about problems, be like, ugh, this sucks, I was like, Super tired, uh, you know, and like next baby will be yours, babe. Brighten his day. He didn't like that she kind of like complained about her life to him. That was so funny. They're like friendship went down from this, but she's like, don't worry, it's okay. She's like flirting with him and immediately he's like more invested in her. Our household earned $21,921 from child support payments, which is very lucky because we have $20,000 due for our rent. Oh my gosh, that paid only our rent. Oh my goodness, thank goodness for child support because we <laughs> would have used up all our money on rent for this huge mansion. It's gonna be so hard getting all this money saved up. Okay, so it's a girl, our child with uh, Mortimer Goth is a girl. I'm sure you guys left some baby name suggestions, so let me check that out. And if I don't see any suggestions on the last video, I will be asking my Patreon. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so one of the highest liked ones is Dior Goth or Vogue Goth. I like Dior, so let's go with Dior Goth. And I feel like Dior would be a good name for a baby girl. And also someone suggested that I change Cash's last names to be Kibo so that we, we keep track of who's um, which baby. And I think that's great. So we will probably change Cash's last name, even though I kind of like someone keeping the Impeachment family name, but well, we'll we'll change it to Cash. And oh my gosh, Dior Goth is born and crying sweet baby angel. Kaylee is very happy. Uh, the baby is looking fine. So we're gonna go home. We had our baby. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, that was a chaotic uh, episode. I feel like every episode lately of my Let's Plays have been very chaotic. Kaylee is super duper happy. She is vibing her celebrity life with her new uh, boyfriend, Thorn, which hopefully they'll get married in the next next episode. And we of course have Dior as the newest baby in the challenge. So we'll put Dior in the parents' room because obviously. So here's baby Dior, nice and slumbering Dior Goth. I don't know if Dior Goth will ever meet Mortimer. We'll find out, but let me know in the comments below if you have any future baby name suggestions for our baby that we'll be having with Thorn Bailey. Also, let me know if you want me to keep doing this challenge. I'm enjoying it. I know it's kind of a little unfrequent with um, updating it, but it's been kind of fun to have it on in the background for, you know, whenever I need it, but also try some new videos. So I hope you're enjoying it. I definitely enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.